Hello students, how are you? I'm teacher Nathaniel Kifli, I'm English teacher. This program is produced by Addis Ababa City Administration Education Bureau. And today we are going to, to see different kinds of lessons. Before when I start today's lesson, let me tell you about the objective of this lesson. In this lesson there are two objectives. So the first objective is the end of this lesson, the student will be able to the first objective is express different kinds of objects by using shape words. And the second objective is they give example when, they teach, when their teacher asking about shape. So let us go to for the first point. Students, look at this picture. There are different kinds of shapes on this smart television. The first one is rectangle. The second one is square and the third one is circle, the fourth one is oval, and the fifth one is triangle. So <clears throat> those are an example of uh, shape words. So by using different kinds of shape words, you can describe objects. For example, look at this picture, students, and when I read the sentence, you can say after me. The first sentence, it says, the table is rectangle. Students, please say after me. The sentence it says the table is a rectangle. Well then, the sentence it says the table is a rectangle. So when you look this table, the 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 shape of the table is a rectangle. Look at the second sentence. The second sentence it says the table is square. Student, please say after me. The sentence it says the table is square. Excellent student. So when you look at the table, it has a square shape. And let us go to the third sentence. OK, students, please look carefully for the second picture. Uh, I mean the third picture. It's the sentence. It says, the roof is a triangle. The students, please say after me, the roof is a triangle. The roof is a triangle. Thank you, students. So when you look at the roof, it has a triangle shape. So let us go to the fourth sentence. Over there, there is a sentence, the ball is a circle. Student, please look carefully the sentence and also the picture. The ball is a circle. Please say after me, the ball is a circle. The ball is a circle. Well then, so when you look at the picture, it is the picture is ball and also it has a circle shape. Okay, let us go to the fourth picture and also sentence. Uh, in the fourth picture, there is a sentence. The sentence it says, the egg is oval. The egg is oval. Student, please say after me, the egg is oval. Thank you. So, when you look the egg, it has uh, an oval shape. So, you have to use different kinds of shape and in terms of different kinds of shapes, you can describe objects. Let us go to the next point. Students, look at this picture carefully. There is a four sentence over here and in the right side there is a four picture and the instruction it says what? Read the sentence and match, match each sentence to a picture. Let us do together. Student, okay student, look at the first sentence. The board is a square. The board is a square. I will give you one minute. You have to tell me the possible answer for the question number one. The question it says, the board is a square. So. What will be the response?
Okay, students, please look at carefully the first sentence. The first sentence, it says, the board is a square. Student, are you with me? The sentence, it says, uh -huh. the board is a square. The board is a square. So, what will be the response? You have to match under column and B. Which one is the answer? I will give you 10 seconds for this question. Thank you, students. The sentence it says, the board is a square. So, the possible answer for this question is B. Is that not? Yes, because the board has a square shape. The board has a square shape. Let us go to the second sentence or the second question. The second question it says, the roof is a triangle. The roof is a triangle. So, what will be the response for this question or what will be the possible answer for this question? The question it says, the roof is a triangle. Student, I give you 10 seconds for this question. Well then, the answer is what? D. Is that not? Yes. The answer is D. Because the roof has uh -huh, a triangle shape. The roof has a triangle shape. Let us go to the third sentence or the third question. The third question it says, the board is a rectangle. The board is a rectangle. So, what will be the possible answer for this question? I give you 10 seconds for this question, student. question it says the board is a rectangle so what will be the answer well then student the answer is what a is that not because the board has a uh -huh, rectangle shape the board has a rectangle shape so the possible answer for this question is a let us go to the last question the last question it says Number four, the ball is a circle. The ball is a circle. So, what will be the possible answer for this question, student? I give you 10 seconds for this question. Well then, the answer is what? C. Yes, the answer is C. Because the ball has a circle shape. Because the ball has a circle shape. Let us go to another issue. Students, look at this table carefully. And also the instruction. The instruction it says, using information in the table, practice the dialogue with a partner. The direction it says, Use inform using information in the table, practice dialogue with a partner. In the table, there is different kinds of words. For the first one, English book. The second one is door. And the third one is football field. The fourth, ball. The fifth, orange. And the sixth is egg. In another side, there is an example of shapes. There are two shapes on the, on the table. Square and rectangle. Circle, triangle, oval and circle. There are different kinds of shape on the uh, table. There is a word over here. So how do you uh, express by language pattern do you, by using different kinds of dialogue and also uh, to express by using shapes for your partner? Let us see together. Students, look at this example Depend on, uh, in terms of the following uh, table. The first one is Student 1, is your exercise book a square or a rectangle? Student, please this sentence after me. Is your English book a square or a rectangle? I give you 10 seconds for to say this sentence.
Thank you. Student two, there is a response here. It is a rectangle. When student, uh, student one asks, is your English book a square or a rectangle? And the student two response is what? It is a rectangle. So he tell the shape of his English book. Let us go to the second example. Student one says, it the, is the ball a circle or a triangle? The question is, is, so please students say after me. It says what? Is the ball a circle or a triangle? I give you 10 seconds for to say this sentence. Thank you. Student 2, it gives the response. Is that not student? Yes. What he say? Uh -huh. It is a circle. So, by this response, he told for his friend, uh -huh, the ball is circle. The ball is circle. So, the ball has a circle shape. This is the dialogue, depends on the previous, uh, the, the, uh, when I, uh, as I told you in the previous, using information the table, practice the dialogue with a partner. So, how to change the table into the dialogue by this form. This is a, an example of for the table. So let me uh, read it once. Student one says, is your exercise book a square or a rectangle? Student two, it is a rectangle. It is a rectangle. Student one, is the ball a circle or a triangle? So the student two says what? It is a circle. It is a circle. Good student. Let us go to for the next point. The next point is, uh, I prepared for today a little bit story. So after we, after I finished uh, reading the story, you have to complete this table by using by using the uh, reading task. So listen to the story. The instruction it says, and the title it says what? Who is tall? Who is tall? The title it says what? Who is tall? Let me read it the reading passage and after that you have to try to do this uh, table by signing a right. You have to tick when I finished the reading task. Let me read it the uh, reading task and after that you have to read it and complete the table. Okay. I am nine years old. I live with my mother, father, sister and brothers. My mother is tall, my mother is tall, but my father is short. I have two sisters and two brothers. Both of my sisters are tall. Oleman, my brother is tall, but Heronus is short. We play together and we are happy. This is the reading story. After, let me read it once and after I give you chance for reading. After that, you have to complete the table. Let me read it once, student. Are you with me? Okay, student. The title, it says, Who is tall? Who is tall? I am nine years old. I live with my mother, father, sister, and brother. My mother is tall, but my father is short. I have two sisters and two brothers. Both of my sisters are tall. Oleman, my brother, is tall, but Heronus is short, we play together and we are happy. This is the reading task. Now I give you um, at least two minutes for reading this story. I give you two minutes, student. You have to read it and after that you have to complete this table.
Okay. There is a table under the reading story. So you have to complete this table. How do you understand the reading task? Uh, the first one is give as an example for you. The first one is give an, uh, as an example for you. Mother is tall. Is that not? Mother is tall. Because when you see the reading task, I am nine years old. I live with my mother, father, sister, and brother. My mother is tall. So, his mother is tall. So, what about father, sister, Oleman, and parents? So, you have to complete by using the right sign. I give you two minutes for this question. I give you two minutes for this question. You have to complete by using the reading task. Okay, so let us do together. Student, father, the question is father. So you have to read it, the reading task again. I am nine years old. I live with my mother, father, sister and brother. My mother is tall, but my father is short. So you have to put the right sign over here because his father is short, because his father is short. Let us go to the third saint, uh, word. The word is sisters. So, let us read it together and to find the answer. I am nine years old. I live with my mother, father, sister, and brother. My mother is tall, but my father is short. I have two sisters and two brothers. Both of my sisters are tall. Is that not? So, you have to the right side over here. You have to tick over here because his sister and brother, both of them are tall. Both of them are tall. Let us go to Oleman. Read it, the reading task, and you have to find the possible answer for this question. Let me read it together, student. I am nine years old. I live with my mother, father, sister, and brother. My mother is tall, but my father is short. I have two sisters and two brothers. Both of my sisters are tall. Oleman, my brother, is tall. This one is the answer, is that not? So you have to uh -huh, put the right sign over here because his brother is tall. His brother is tall. Let us go to the last question. Heronus. Read it together and find the possible answer. Let me read it together, student. I am nine years old. I live with my mother, father, sister and brother. 
My mother is tall, but my father is short. I have two sisters and two brothers. Both of my sisters are tall. Oleman, my brother is tall, but Heronas is short. We play together and we are happy. So, student, what will be the answer? The answer is what? Tall, is that not? So you have to the right sign over, I mean, the, the possible answer is short. So you have to put the right sign over here because Heronas is short. Heronas is short. Thank you very much, student. Have you got my idea? Okay, student. Well then, well then. Let us go to the next point. The next point is there are two activities over here. The first activity, it says, uh, look at the picture and complete sentence with a shape words. Student, please see those pictures carefully. There are five pictures over here. The first one, it says what? The ball is dash. Student, now I give you 10 seconds, so you have to answer this question. The question, it says what? The ball is dash. So, what will be the answer for this question? What will be the answer for this question? The question, it says, the ball is dash. Well done. Thank you very much. The answer is what, student? The ball is a uh, circle because it has a circle shape. It has a circle shape. Number two, students, please see carefully the second question. The second question, it says what? The roof looks dash. The roof looks dash. So, I give you 10 seconds for this question. You have to put your answer. Thank you, students. The answer is what? Uh, the roof looks a uh, triangle because the roof has uh, a triangle shape. Because the roof has a triangle shape. Let us go to the third question, students. The third question, it says, the board is dash. The board is dash. Student, what will be the answer for this question? I give you 10 seconds for this question. Well done. The answer is uh, uh, rectangle, rectangle, because the board has a rectangle shape. So you can say the board is rectangle, the board is rectangle. Let us go to the fourth question, students. The fourth question, it says the box is dash, the box is dash. So what will be the answer for this question? I give you 10 seconds for this question. Excellent student, the answer is what? Square, because the box has a square shape. Because the box has a square shape. Okay, let us go to the last question. The last question it says, uh, number five, the egg is dash. The question it says, uh, the egg is dash. So, what will be the answer for this question? Student, I give you 10 seconds, try to do this question. Well done. The answer is what? Oval. Oval. Because the egg has an uh, oval shape. The egg has oval shape. So you have to say oval. You are right. So when you read it, the sentence together, the egg is oval. The egg is oval. Okay, students. Let us go to the next point. The next point is here. This is your summary activity. So, you have to try to do this activity in your home. Let me read it, the question and I finished my lesson. The instruction it says, read the words and match them with the picture. Read the, read the words and match them with the picture. Under column A, there is a shape word this, and under column E, there is a shape. So you have to match the shape words 
into a uh, the shape into the shape let me read it the first one number one rectangle number two square number three triangle number four circle number five oval student please try to do this question in your home this is all about for today i will see you next time goodbye students Bye.